Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about service task. So in Kamunda 8 actually, so why we are using service task and how to implement the service task and all those details we are going to cover in this session. Okay. So first of all, so why we need service task actually? So in the last video, if you see that we discussed about user task, right? So when user interaction is required in the process, we require the user task. So the same way when user interaction is not required, but it has to execute some business logic actually. Okay. So that time we need to go for a service task. Okay. Let's see, let's draw a small diagram and let's try to understand and let's try to deploy it and let's try to run it. Okay. Okay. Uh, just go to file, open BPM and diagram new. Okay. So I'll to understand, make it more easy. I'll just creating one user task. Then the second task should be service task. And th then I'm just ending up the flow. Okay. So this file, let's save it as a, uh, service task session. Okay. Okay, fine. So this is as it is user task. Okay. So this is service task. I just keeping own name, whatever name, if you would like to keep, please keep it. Okay. And I'm trying to save this file under our project folder structure. If you know that we have the project structure under SRC main so resource inside that I can save this file. Okay. So I'll just save that. Okay, so service task session. Okay, fine. So hope you already running your Docker and you should make sure you, you can able to see your uh, task list as well as the operate screen. Okay, so operate screen, my user ID and password is demo demo. Okay, so the same way task list also I try to log in as a demo demo. Okay, so as of now there is no task and you can see there is a two process was already initiated. Okay, fine. Let's try to we already saved this. There is one error. Okay, service task must have the task definition type. Okay, so you can see that it is clearly saying service task is required. Task definition type. What is the task definition? If you open this, see it is showing you the error, right? So it means that you are going to give some Java or whatever it may be. So I am going to give some Java implementation for this. Okay, so for that, what you need to create? Okay, so you need to go to your application. I'm just having the product order class file, which I already created. Okay. So I need to just make sure that I need to annotate this class with component. Okay. Then this is my actual method. Okay. Here I'm going to mention the ZB worker. What is the ZB worker? So which is coming from the annotation ZB pack package. Okay. It is under annotation. So it means uh, whatever ZB worker you are mentioning. So whatever type you are going to mention this type you should mention it in your bpm and implementation it means once you mention this so whenever the execution is coming into this place service task it will automatically trigger this method okay so and it should execute this actually okay let's try to understand how it is running okay let's let's run the application and let's see the in real time okay i'm just running the kamuda 8 application the meanwhile Right, so I can just deploy this diagram with the help of this deploy current diagram button. Okay, so make sure as I'm running in self managed, you can mention the URLs and everything. So, in the last session, I explained to you what is the SAS and what is self managed and all the things. Right, so I'm just trying to deploy it in my local host. So, once I deployed, I can go and I can refresh this screen. You can see service task session. Okay, you can see the diagram which we draw it in in the Kamuda modeler, right? Okay, now I should be able to see this logic, the, I mean this is out when I'm executing this diagram. I'm just clearing the log, okay? So I'm trying to execute this diagram, how to execute it? So you can click a play button, okay, which will start deploying, you will start current your diagram, I think, not deploying, it's uh, start your process basically, okay? So I'm just clicking this process process started it means okay let's go here it should create a user task okay let's go to task list page you can see here it will be automatically populated if not you can just refresh this screen okay 
so user task you can i can just claim this and i can able to complete the task okay after completing you can go and check your log as this is a service task it won't require any user interaction so it will automatically go so once it is the process reaching here it will check for the type task definition then as i mentioned product order it will go and check for all the classes where it is annotated with component and where it is annotated with the zb worker okay so it will pick this method and it will just execute it as of now there is no business logic i configured just a sysout i just kept it so it is just printed this sysout and the execution was getting completed okay so if you, you you can see here right so if you if i refresh that there is one process instruction should come here actually see which we run just few minutes back right okay so hope you understood how to configure your service task how to draw the service task in commando modeler and how to deploy it as well as how to write the implementation right so so we saw that user task in the last session and this session we covered the how to utilize a service task again in the next section i am going to teach you how to use the variables how to set the variables how to help get the variables with the help of java okay in the service task level okay hope you understood this session if you have any queries feel free to add it in your comment section okay let's see in the next session thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye